There is a, uh, a member of the Garmy named Steve Ashton, who I've become friendly with. He's also a uh, presenter, as they say, over there on television and radio. And I thought he could be sort of our UK correspondent. So this is kind of exciting. Our first new feature on the Ralph Report in what I hope is the first of many appearances. It's time to go to our UK correspondent, Steve Ashton. Um, thanks, Ralph, and congratulations, by the way, on the launch of your new um, a new podcast. Uh, let me just get the temperature over there, though. Are you guys really excited about this royal wedding? Fuck no! Fair enough. Steve, thanks so much for spending some time with us, and we'll talk to you again soon, all right, buddy? Bye-bye. Thanks, Ralph. There you have it, UK correspondent Steve Ashton. Thank you, sir. Sir Elton was in the middle of his hit song, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. Normally what he does is he invites audience members um, up to join him, but apparently um, some people started to touch his piano, and that's not a euphemism. He was just touching the piano and trying to take a selfie. Fuck off, he was seen saying to them as they interrupted the performance. That's right, it's Ed Sheeran. Now, the British pop star and living Cheeto played three <laughs> stadium concerts. James Corden's dad is also a ball bag. Yeah, Ed Sheeran, the singing taint. Apparently, Sir Elton told Taron, don't copy me, don't think you have to sing it exactly the way I sang it, and don't think you have to perform in the way I performed it. And certainly don't shout, fuck off! to audience members halfway through a song like he did very recently in Vegas. The 39-year-old walking Crisco commercial, Harry got up and said, does anyone play the piano? And, and apparently Ellen John said, fuck off! Elton, fuck off! John, I'm going to make like Sir Elton John and fuck off! Of course, when also comments Sir Elton reiterated an earlier statement that he'd made when Trump um, was using his song Rocket Man, when he said, Fuck off! Ralph Garman, the man who Elton John would never say fuck off to. Talentless wank muffin Corden, the fucking twee ginger vaginal discharge wanker. Um, and apparently, <laughs> that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Yeah. Fat, talentless, whiny minge. <laughs> it's Corden! He's like a used condom full of eco friendly fabric conditioner. Essentially, a rice cake soaked in almond milk and warmed up to just above room temperature. Okay, Corden, you're a talentless queef. I uh, did have a message for all of those other hopefuls who came to the audition. Back off! He's still an obnoxious, attention seeking, talentless cow who says stupid shit just to stay relevant. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> yes. Elton John is in the house. Uh, when asked for comment earlier this week, Sir Elton's publicist issued the following statement. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Soggy cardboard box full of out-of-date margarine Ed Sheeran is in the news. <laughs> Singing foghorn Mel B. He's a talentless bitch. We'd like to say personally to Sir Elton, Fuck off! This is my thought. You've got scary spice, right? R right. Forty, baby, mm -hmm. ginger, and chunks of ham left in a bucket of breast milk for three days out in the open spice. So orange cum stain, Donald Trump is in the news. If anyone thinks he should sound like the famous singer, they can fuck off. Does any play golf? I can't imagine him being let into a fucking clubhouse. He looks like he combs his hair with a fucking candy apple. <laughs> I mean, he used to be amazing, but right now, he sounds like fucking cutlery in a washing machine. Sheeran is like a gas station bathroom sink full of cloudy urine. Right-wing shite bag Piers Morgan is in the news. When asked for comments, Sir Elton's publicist said the advice he gave her was to fuck off! <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> the world's favourite singing marmoset with alopecia, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> One of the other calls we got on the Ralph Report hotline this weekend was a call specifically for our UK correspondent, Mr. Steve Ashton. This guy had a question that only a Brit could answer, and so it kicked off a brand new segment we'll be featuring from time to time here on the show called Ask a Brit. Steve, thanks for spending some time with me. Outside your usual UK updates, uh, this caller, Zach, left a message for you on the Ralph Report hotline, and I wanted to hear from you, if you don't mind, uh, talking about something that the Brits do that we don't do here in America. Is that okay? Okay. Can I just check? This is time and a half, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I'll put it, a little something extra in your packet, as they say. Time and a half, time and a half of nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> he was given directorial duties uh, for the scene and uh, began, of course, the scene by saying, Fuck on! Apologize for the inconvenience and also to Kevin Owens, Fuck off! Elton John made $46 million this year. 
Fuck off! Sorry, I'm just doing that on Steve's behalf. <laughs> like watered down mayonnaise. <laughs> so, Wendy, darling. <laughs> Fuck off! He is a talentless dry stain of pig semen. Racist Veruca scab, Piers Morgan. <laughs> We're just close enough so they can hear him gently whisper at night. Fuck off! The old Patty LaBella, she called, she called him a bunch of times to the Tupperware, and he told her to fuck off! <laughs>